Wisconsin is a state known for its great beer. And behind every great beer is great brewing, great people, and great stories. On this show, we're going to be talking to the people that are responsible for making the beer that we love. We're here at Hopcat in Madison, and this is Behind the Brews. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, I'm Fred Swanson. With me, as always, is my buddy Mark Alfred, and we're here at Capitol Brewery in Middleton, Wisconsin. The Capitol Brewery has always been one of Wisconsin's leaders in the industry, and they remain committed to great beer. They're known for their lagers, but they're much more than that. Ashley Kennard Short is going to show us around, tell us some stories, and we're going to have a beer or two. Let's go inside and talk. Ashley, thank you for having us here today. Is working at a brewery something that um, everything that you thought it would be? Um, everything and then some. We kind of have a little joke like, so you want to be a brewer, huh? And some of those very, very long days that nothing is going as planned, but um, it's, uh, it's been a wild ride. What were some of the challenges that you faced coming in after one of the most storied individuals in Wisconsin craft beer? Um, it definitely was more of a, just a position to be promoted up into. It was, it was assuming a role. You're the face of the brewery. You are the person who's out there who I, I hope people think of when they think Capital Brewery. And so um, it, it was a, yeah, definitely a, a large role to fill, but um, I, I, I was very honored to even be offered the position. So um, it's, uh, I, I definitely have to step it up and, and try to, yeah, try to, try to fill it up as much as I can. Do you feel that you're under any additional pressure to succeed as far as leading the direction of Capital from a brewing perspective? Walking into a company that's been around for um, almost 30 years at the time, um, it, you have a kind of a, a moving force that's already in motion. Um, so you don't necessarily want to kind of completely change the direction of that force, of that movement. Big pressure to uh, just to keep that going, but also to, to kind of take it and make it my own. So. Tell us more about the new changes that are happening here at Capital with the smaller brew system, the increased uh, square footage on the tap room. So much fun new stuff coming up. Um, the, the bar should be open very shortly, and so in, kind of open up our inside space. It actually used to be our grain storage, so we're gonna just keep the same name, calling it the grain room. So that'll be a cool space that I'm actually hoping to do some, a little bit more kind of tasting classes and some other kind of learning and other kind of extra opportunities for people to come in and drink beer and have some fun. Um, but also the seven barrel system, I think is like, it's one of the most glorious things I could ever think of. I'm very, very excited to kind of get outside the box, get outside of the, the comfort zone, um, and really get to play around. It's, I, I can't imagine a, uh, a, a better situation for a brewmaster to, to get to really do something really, really fun. Give us an idea of what might be coming off that seven barrel system as far as thoughts and things that you've already talked about with regards to beer style. Yeah, so um, we have, I've uh, compiled a list of over 100 beers that we've done, um, and there's so many, I, I don't think I can, go out to an event without somebody coming up to me and asking me for something we haven't brewed in 10, sometimes 15 years and saying, you know what, that was my favorite beer and I was just so mad. And when you have this history and how many beers we've done, um, for, yeah, for the longest time, just like, yeah, we just can't do that one anymore. Like, I'm sorry. But now it's like, yep, keep an eye on Facebook. Maybe it'll be somewhere near you soon. We, you know, it's basically, and the sky's the limit as far as past beers. On top of that, just, whatever I want, you know, and on the small scale size, I think I'm gonna do a lot more ales, some really nice, just crisp session, easy drinking beers. I think that's gonna be a mainstay. So I think uh, between a, some old school throwback style, a nice session ale, and then something else fun and funky, and it gives me a good mix to play with, but I think we, we won't get too far from our roots. What is the style that you're most excited about brewing? I think and I've been doing a little bit of teaching of a small brewing class um, with Madison College and kind of the, home, the guy at the homebrew shop laughed at me and I said I was picking up some ale yeast and he kind of laughed like, do you even know how to brew ales? And it's like, that, like that's fair. That's, I, I get it, that's fair. Um, but I kind of had some questions. I was like, oh, I, I guess I don't know as much about brewing ales and brewing lagers and a couple of these just little questions or little things that like I, wasn't really necessarily thinking about, but oh, I, I guess I'm so not used to ale yeast, just kind of the 
smelling it the first couple days after fermentation. All these little little tiny things that in my head it was just ah, it's no big deal. Like it's it's just beer we're brewing. But I think I'm most excited to just play around with different yeast strains, and I think that will there's the, an endless world of possibilities and on the amount of flavors and styles. And yeah, a lot of it starts with the yeast. So. In a male-dominated industry, do you find it difficult to get your ideas uh, as well as your um, perspective across to your peers? Do you find any difficulty with that? I don't think so. Um, if anything, I think being a female kind of gave me even a little more of an in or opened a few more doors. It's, it's not even about having a male or a female on, in terms of just applications and resumes that I receive. It is a very, very, very small fraction that are actually women who want to work on the production side. Um, so I think, if anything, sometimes being a woman actually was like, oh wow, I get 10 homebrewer nerds a day come in, want to, you know, hey, I want to work in a brewery. But being a girl nerd homebrewer walking in, there's um, a whole bunch of people who let me just come in and shadow their brewery. And so before I even knew that this is what I wanted to do for a living and really kind of make a career out of it, back in the day, Kirby had me come on in the Capitol and yeah, whatever you want, just come hang out, follow the guys around for a day, check everything out. Um, Tyronina, Pearl Street, Potosi, everybody was just so, so, so welcoming. And there's, there's always the like, good for you. <laughs> like, like, you're so brave. <laughs> Come on, like, I'm not trying to like break the chains or anything. So I think that's a, another big, like I'm, I'm not trying to make a statement or do something. I'm, I just wanted to make beer and, and that's where I am. And Ash, what is your nickname for your own personal office? Um, we call my office the PC Free Zone. Um, we, we try to be very accepting, but sometimes you have to have kind of a, like a little, a little safety area, a little comfortable area. You can close the doors and speak freely. Um, that might include some, some profane language or some other um, maybe off-color jokes, but it, you kind of have to have a, a safe place for that. And so that's, that's generally the space right around my desk. So it's a, it's, it's a safe place to come and say whatever you want to say. What advice would you give to the next uh, female Bruin star on the horizon? I think the biggest thing is just take your, your goal, take your vision, take your your dream and just do it. Don't have any reservations of why or why can't I, why, what, what could go wrong. Just take what you love, um, put, put everything that you have into doing what you love and just making it your own and just go for it. Ash, thanks for having us out on a Sunday morning for a little bit of conversation and a few beers. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate having you guys here. And thanks to Hopcat, catch us at isthmus.com backslash behind the brews, and we'll see you next time at Lake Louie. Cheers. 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 Cheers.